SpaceX is gearing up for a crucial test that could help send astronauts to space from U.S. soil for the first time in nearly a decade. The unmanned Crew Dragon capsule will intentionally break off from the Falcon 9 rocket minutes after liftoff tomorrow. The in-flight abort test aims to prove SpaceX can return astronauts to safety in the event of an emergency. Mark Strassman is at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where this morning's test had to be scrubbed. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Dana. Choppy seas with the issue, which might have prevented SpaceX from recovering its capsule. Uh, they're going to try again tomorrow. Here's what's supposed to happen. Uh, they're willing to destroy a rocket in order to prove that its onboard escape system really does work. Essentially, what happens is 84 seconds after launch, they turn off the engines of the rocket. Aerodynamic forces will probably break apart that rocket, but by then, the capsule should have been thrown to safety. It's the final milestone before SpaceX starts launching astronauts. SpaceX Dragon, we are visors down. Nobody is counting on SpaceX's escape system more than these two astronauts, Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley. They're space shuttle veterans training to fly first on SpaceX's new ship called Crew Dragon. A huge advantage of the capsule design typically is you have an abort escape capability throughout the envelope, which we did not have in shuttle. You genuinely believe if something goes wrong, you've got options. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. If the Falcon 9 rocket ever has an in-flight crisis, Crew Dragon's escape system is designed to fire eight onboard engines and push the capsule and astronauts away to safety. Parachutes would land them in the Atlantic. And we have splashdown. Even reliable rockets can have a bad day. Lift off. 15 months ago, NASA astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexei Ovchinin were riding a Russian Soyuz to the space station. Two minutes into flight, their rocket malfunctioned. All of a sudden, there was this violent uh, shaking side to side and the alarms going off and I see a red light that's lit up and it says that you've had an emergency with the booster. The launch escape system saved their lives. We were ripped away from the rocket uh, while it's disintegrating and continuing to burn uh, and pulled away to safety. You realize in that moment, hey, this could have been really bad. The, the launch of uh, crew is something that uh, we're, we've been working towards for, for 17 years. And it's liftoff for the... Last March, SpaceX flew a successful uncrewed test flight to the ISS. But a month later, that spaceship exploded during a ground test. It set the company back months. While it's disappointing, it also can be a real gift to the final design. And to be totally frank, if, you know, if, if there hasn't been some hardware that blew up, blew up on the test stand, I don't think you tested it hard enough. That's the reality. And Boeing is the other company hired by NASA. Its uncrewed spacecraft failed to dock with the space station during a test flight last month. The onboard computer mistimed the mission sequence. NASA's administrator, Jim Bridenstine, told us neither company will fly astronauts until it's safe. These vehicles have, have never flown humans before. Um, so is there risk here? Yes. Are we doing everything we can to mitigate it? Absolutely. They're going to try again tomorrow morning when the new launch window opens at 8 a.m. If all goes well, if the test flight is a success, SpaceX could start launching astronauts as soon as March. Michelle? All righty, Mark. Looks like you're having a great time down there. <laughs> Good stuff down there. <laughs> Good Space stuff. Center. These uncrewed missions are so important. Remember, there were, what, five, seven controlled landings on the moon right. before Neil Armstrong did it. Yeah, and, and the one before uh, Neil Armstrong was, 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 was it Gemini 8? It was Apollo 8? Some of the were manned, some, some, but the some one, not. But the we're one talking that about Voyager and some of the other missions that were unmanned. Okay. Well